Students, a short video about tentorium cerebelli. Tentorium cerebelli is a dural fold, and the, the most important thing is it has an attached margin and free margin. So, before going to that, few important bony landmarks you should understand. Then only we can talk about the attached margin and free margin of tentorium cerebelli. Number one is the anterior clinal process. Look at this. Uh, a sharp thing I have marked as an anterior clinal process that is the end point of the lesser wing of sphenoid okay that bone is called as lesser wing of sphenoid here it is marked as 6 and the tip of the lesser wing of sphenoid is called as anterior clinoid process and then the down one I have marked the apex of the petrous part of the temporal bone I have marked as posterior clinoid process so these two clinoid processes are very important one is anterior clinoid process this is the anterior end of lesser wing of sphenoid and the posterior clinoid process is present in the apex of the petrous part of the temporal bone so we have read about these two then the next one if you see here i have marked this uh, uh, attached margin and free margin attached margin the student should write it starts from the internal occipital protuberance it means this is the area where it is marked as 6 okay that is internal occipital protuberance just laterally both the sides I have drawn a line okay that is you can see a groove just behind uh, the 7 7 mark is there no just behind that you can see a groove that is called as transverse sulcus here the 11 is kept inside the transverse sulcus that along the transverse sulcus we have to go that is along the lips of the transverse sulcus the attached margin goes and then the, it goes above the petrous part of the temporal bone that is written as 14 here it goes above the petrous part of the temporal bone and it is attached to the posterior clinoid process look at this I have stopped here that green color thing I stopped here in the posterior clinoid process so this is about the attached margin so when you write about the attached margin it starts from the internal occipital protuberance goes along the lips of the transverse sulcus and then it just ascends um, up along the petrous part of the temporal bone and goes to the apex and it stops there it, it stops in the posterior clinoid process and then free margin I have marked it as a um, orange color okay so this orange color look at this the free margin is not attached anywhere on the bony landmarks it just goes straight and it is attached to the anterior clinoid process so this is the attached margin what nice lines i have drawn here and then free margin it just encircles the foramen magnum and then goes and gets its attachment with the uh, anterior clinoid process so we will give you marks according to that only how you have written the attached margin how you write the free margin next uh, the free margin you can see a nice oval shaped uh, foramen okay that is called as tentorial notch so this tentorial notch this area marked as number one that is called clivus that is area immediately present inside that there you will be having midbrain and uh, the vermis of the cerebellum these two structures will be there and down you will be having the pons and medulla everything down and because you can see the big foramen number four is your ten foramen magnum so these are the structures which is present inside the tentorial notch so whenever there is increased intracranial pressure when you release the pressure from down for uh, taking the CSF or lumbar puncture what that time what happens the entire pressure is high inside the cranial cavity and the structures which is present in the midline that is your midbrain cerebellar vermis all the structures they get caught inside this tentorial notch that is called as tentorial herniation this may lead to death of the patient okay and uh, this is a clinical application you are supposed to write next the sinuses related to the tentorium cerebelli are number one this along the transverse sulcus you have the transverse sinus number two along the petrous bone you have the superior petrosal sinus and then here in the center i have marked this as number five right so that is your uh, straight sinus where the uh, superior uh, fox cerebri gets its attachment over the tentorium cerebelli that area is called as um, that area you have a sinus by the name straight sinus thus these three sinuses are related to the tentorium cerebelli so that's all about the tentorium cerebellum. mark distribution is it is a dural fold number two attached margin number three free margin number four tentorial herniation what is tentorial notch and what is tentorial herniation this all about and the sinuses related to the 
tentorium cerebelli these are the five salient points you are supposed to write for the tentorium cerebelli thank you